welcome back to the girly girl bookworm so today i have part two to do i have that other book um so if you didn't see already i will link down below or somewhere hopefully um the other video um where it was part one this is part two of the questions again this was created by keeping tabs um so yeah let's just get started so there's 20 prompts and i already know i don't think i have the first one and it's a book that either has like a fox on the cover or part of the story and i don't think i do <laughs> pretty sure i don't two is a book that was published the year you were born or within three years I feel like the books that i would have that did that are probably in the other room i don't know Two thousand thirteen, I don't think so. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so it looks like this one was published in nineteen ninety three originally. This one was 2005, 1995, but this one was 1993, and I was born in 1990, so three years. I was going to pick Diane Chamberlain, but then I remember she's in the other room. She definitely has books that were published around the year I was born. Um, three, music as a weapon or magic? A weapon or magic? Um... Music is weird in this one, but I don't know if it's necessarily a weapon or magic. Hmm. Or my other thought is there's music in this one that's kind of evil, but I don't know if it's magic. I don't know. I'm going to go with those two. I don't think that there's anything else it could be. Four, mismatched covers. I have the perfect ones. These are the ones that drive me berserk on my shelf. Hold on. These drive me crazy. So I've got Across the Universe with the most gorgeous cover ever. And then I've got the paperback and the ugly cover. But then I have the hard cover and the ugly cover. So, of all the mismatched things on my shelf, this is the one that's, like, kind of the most infuriating to me. Um, four, five. A book with a shapeshifter. Cersei, is she a shape, shape shifter? Oh, there's um, shape-shifting wolves in this one. So I'm going to go with this one, actually. A book signed by the author. I've got a ton. Oh, this one's a book plate, so I'm going to say that one doesn't count. Um, all of my Morgan Matson books are signed. So I just grabbed this one. Signed. Um, a book that's mostly red. All red. So we've got Time Bob by Joelle Charbonneau. Um, book that's 287 to 306 pages. What is it? 287 to three, two, Because it can go up to 306. So yeah, this one is 291. So that fits. Main character who wears glasses. I don't want to pick Harry Potter if I can help it. Main character with glasses. Who wears glasses? Do you wear glasses? Who wears glasses? Someone has to wear glasses. Arthur Perot kind of wears glasses. Does he count? I feel like Agatha Christie can just count for anybody, right? 
Who wears glasses? Any of you wear glasses? Someone's got to wear glasses. Glasses. Hmm. So yeah, I'm going to go with Hercule Perot or Harry Potter because those are like the go-to. I know they wear glasses. Anybody else who wears glasses? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Hercule Poirot or Harry Potter. I'm cheating. Um, a title with the same number of letters as your name. So Nicole, so N-I-C-O-L-E. So I need a six. N-I-C-O-L-E, a six letter title. Hmm. T-H-E, oh yeah. Does the word the count? So the dry, six letters. Um. A cyber crime or technology. I'm gonna go with Slay because there's a girl, there's a c person in this book that is killed because of the technology and it's got technology in it. So I'm gonna go with this one. Um, 12, a book written in another language or translated, okay? So I have actually a Harry Potter edition in Gaelic, but it's in the other room. Book that's translated. I used to have a ton, but I think I've unhauled all of them. I used to have um, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. I had Bear Town. Unhauled them though. Book that's translated. I'm sure I do, but I can't think of any. I can't think of any off the top of my head besides those, and I've already gotten rid of those, and my one that's in Gaelic is in the other room. I can't think. Um, an Asian author. I've got a couple. So I'm just going to grab this one because it's nice and easy. Kevin Kwan, Crazy Rich Asians. Um, book with a moon. Book with a moon. No, I don't know. Book with a moon. It's dark out, but that's not a moon. I think that's supposed to be the moon. Is that supposed to be the moon? Moon? Oh. <laughs> Crescent City has a big giant moon on it. Um, an illustrated children's book. I've got my Harry Potter illustrated edition. I've got all of my children's books that are in the other room for Sydney. Um, but I do think I don't think this, is this one of illustrations? Oh, this one has some illustrations. Measle and Poe. But I do have other books that are definitely illustrated. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go Liesl and Poe. Um, a book of fairy tales. We've got Grimm's fairy tales right here. Sci-fi fantasy that alliance that has an alliance between races. I have no idea. I'm just recently getting back into fantasy and sci-fi, so I don't necessarily remember if I have any. Um, a narrow front cover. I do. Just find which one. Um, oh, this one has one. My 
My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing has that like short cut cover. Um, 19, one that has the first chapter to a sequel. Probably. I just don't know which. Not that one. Uh, chapter to a sequel. Of course, they found another book with a moon on it, though. Book with a sequel. Nope. Shoot. They yeah. have those two on. Ah, found one. <laughs> How um, unearthly has um, the next chapter at the end? one. Knew I had one. And then a book with a broken spine. That would probably be my mass markets and I'm blanking on where I keep them. Because those are fine. Broken spine. Broken spine. Broken spine. What did I do with? I feel like I do, but I guess I don't. I might have unhauled all of them, but did. No, I don't have anything with a broken spine. And that was the last question. <laughs> so I don't have the last answer. Oh well. So yeah, not too bad. Again, another one that I did in like 13 minutes. Not too shabby. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know if you've done this one so I can check it out down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everybody.